What's good, YouTube? Wanted to give you just a quick update about the patch. Latest patch in Madden 23, Gridiron Notes, November 17th. So let's go through these updates. I'm going to have some videos for you guys later today. If you guys want to get all the updates about this patch, all of my ebooks that I have on my Patreon, all that stuff, every time there's a patch, we run through everything, make sure everything still works, and we update what is not updated. So if you want to get access to all those updates, make sure you're a Patreon member because you not only do you get all the ebooks, but you also get all the updates to those ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, $10, link is in the description. Let's go through the gridiron notes here though. A couple quick uh, things here. Um, hey Madden fans, welcome back to the gridiron notes for title update number four. Don't forget the last day to earn Deion Sanders and other amazing rewards. It is currently scheduled for December 8th, so I got to kind of get my Dion done um, because I'm actually running out of time, unfortunately. Um, so some franchise stuff, not really that big of a deal to me. Uh, but let's go through the gameplay updates. This is the most important thing to me. Now, the biggest change in Madden 23 is they added a Jalen Waddle signature celebration. This is huge. It's going to completely save Madden. I'm so excited that they did this. Literally ridiculous that this is the first thing on here, in my opinion, um, because this literally is not a big deal to me, and I don't think it's really a big... You know, there's a lot of people that really, like, they want refs back in the game, or, like... But I honestly think, like, they just want a game to work. Um, and so I just... I, I get frustrated when they put stuff like this in the very first line of gameplay updates. But anyway, there is a new Jalen Waddle celebration. So uh, make sure you get Jalen Waddle. Uh, he's obviously one of the best receivers in Mutt right now. JK and uh, anyway, whatever. Fix an issue allowing players to exploit defenders by using pump fake and throw away at the same time, leading to zone coverage defenders ignoring the quarterback scrambling past line of scrimmage. The pump fake glitch hopefully is patched. Um, you know, honestly, a lot of people really didn't do this. I did face a couple people uh, doing this, but really, this wasn't like wildfire, and I think it's just because it was banned in the ACS, but whatever. Ah, they patched the running back streak. So this was something that they. Uh, we thought was kind of intentional. I kind of said this was probably something that was broken from last patch, but it's actually something that was, you know, uh, it actually is something that was broken. Fixed an issue causing running back streak hot routes to run straight through the line instead of stemming to the outside first. We saw this uh, Clef the God scored a touchdown on this route in the MCS yesterday. This, I said, was completely broken. They broke it from the last patch. They're, they, it's back to its old method, okay? So interesting to me. Um, I don't feel like this was... I feel like actually people really liked the running back streaks. Um, so kind of interesting, but whatever. Running back streaks are now no longer going to be that good, okay? Fix an issue preventing Q quarterback throw styles from updating correctly in Ultimate Team. Cool. Fix an issue with Mac Jones passing animation trajectory. Cool. Here we, here we go. Fix an issue preventing man coverage from the covering... A tight end wheel route on RPO plays, such as gun, deuce, close, or RPO read flat wheel. Hopefully that's patched. Um, honestly, it wasn't a big of a deal. Um, the fact that it's November, this has been an issue since like August. Um, so just kind of interesting that we're in November and we're just fixing this stuff. Um, and these stuff, th these kind of things are like, they're not even that big of deals. With The community's already kind of figured out how to how to get around some of these things. So it's kind of unfortunate that they're, it's, it, the bottom line is, they're not keeping up with like the meta. They're not keeping up with the things that I feel like they need to be keeping up with that are actually major, major problems. Um, but we'll see if they address them later on in here. Um, so we'll keep going. Fix an issue allowing a receiver to be uncovered by sending him in motion. Yeah, same thing. So basically this, done, this gun do, deuce close offense um, that is banned in the MCS. Apparently they made this less effective, okay? Um, this was another problem. Uh, this was the man glitch. This has been a problem like all year. And again, just kind of same thing. It's like this has been a problem all year where there was like a no assignment glitch in this formation wing slot. And uh, hopefully they fix that, okay? Uh, fix an issue preventing play art from updating appropriately to correct adjustments made uh, to blocking interesting okay players will not have to reset the formation anymore to view blocking adjustments so they're not saying that the blocking adjustments weren't registering they're simply saying that we were not able to view them as registering kind of an interesting statement by ea um i think that slide protection is going to be better in light of this um so we'll see i i personally think they weren't actually registering and i think a lot of the community would agree with me with that so 
um, when you would reset the play, you, they would register and you would get better pass protection. Supposedly, this is fixed. So, again, another nod to better blocking, better pass protection. Um, not sure how I feel about this, to be honest. Um, let's keep going. Fix an issue causing the ball to stick to the player's hand during the... I don't really care about that. So, basically, some kind of a celebration they fix. I don't even... I honestly don't even know how to celebrate now because left trigger has changed what left trigger does every year or so. Anyways, um, cool. Fixed an issue causing issues with the football during some first down celebrations, such as ball to... St okay, so these are just like basic visual bugs, it seems like. Um, fix an issue on... We're, we're working on skills trainer. Like, are we kidding me, guys? There are so many problems with this game, and we are working on skills trainer. Really interesting. Um, just don't understand some of these decisions, man. Um... I mean, okay, this is interesting right here. Fix an issue causing receivers to sometimes run whip routes in the wrong direction. That actually is a pretty big problem. So hopefully this fix this. Um, yeah, hopefully this fixes this. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, fix a rare issue that could result in the offense getting the ball back incorrectly. When a penalty, this actually happened to me. Um, after a turnover on a two-point conversion attempt, yeah, this actually happened to me. This was ridiculous. Um, so good, good on them for fixing that. Uh, fix an issue. Ooh, interesting here. Fix an issue with a specific SWAT animation that allowed it to trigger from too far away, causing the defender to warp or causing warping. That could be a very interesting statement in light of. The fact that the way Wesley made the live event was basically his ag defense, if you will. And that was his ability to click on and swat the ball. So I'm, I'm curious to see how ags are after that. Um, just kind of an interesting statement, in my opinion, on their part. There's The fact that there's nothing in here about tuning to aggressive catch animations is ridiculous. Um, if you watched the tournament last night, the MCS tournament, there was multiple third downs where Dez literally just threw an ag to a solo receiver. Now, of course, it was lab that it was a good read. In this year's game, it's a good read. But the fact of the matter is, like, at what point do we... It's like, what are you supposed to do if you're Clef? Um, so the fact of the matter is, ags are so consistent that you have to have two say two people in the area almost at all times and if you don't then you're going to get mossed every single time we saw we saw that all over this last tournament okay um fix a typo in the play name of inside zone the la rams offensive playbook i'm really glad and then we get this right here um nfl playbook updates but the problem with nfl live playbooks even though they're they're great they're great in theory number one Every single thing that was added was a running formation. Literally, strong slot, eye close flex, eye slot close, pistol strong, wing, wildcat. All of these things are running based offenses. That's a big problem. Um, so again, the primary passing formation is going to remain bunch because bunch has the best routes. Um, that's the main reason why people are in bunch. And then I just I, I wish we could I wish we could just like. Have some common sense, man. Like, nobody gets on Madden and like, you know what I want to do today? I want to run iForm Pro. I'm so thankful they added iForm Pro to the Broncos playbook. I can't wait to go home and play with the Broncos playbook. Nobody says that. Like, ah, uh, just, and, and the other problem with the whole NFL Live playbook program is you can't even get NFL Live playbooks in Ultimate Team. And Ultimate Team is the primary mode that most people play and the primary mode for competitive Madden. So it makes this right here, for the most part, irrelevant. So just kind of something uh, to think about. Anyways, they did a bunch of stuff to franchise. I'm sure it just you know solved all the problems with franchise. Um, I'm sure they didn't do anything wrong. I don't play franchise, but if you do play franchise, it looks like they fixed a lot of things. So hopefully uh, you have a better experience than what you've had so far this year. From what I've heard, it's been really bad this year. Um, Ultimate Team, various kind of standard stuff. But, you know, all in all, we'll see what it changes from a blitzing perspective, ag perspective. There's always things in a patch 
the big ghost patch. But from a, from the gridiron notes themselves, they basically made some of the glitchy stuff on offense a little bit less effective, but did absolutely nothing to address, address aggressive catching or address the fact that now we're to the point on defense where our zones literally don't react to the ball. So I wish they would have addressed some of those big, big things. Um, but I'm excited. Patch day is always fun. We're going to get in the lab, test some of this stuff out. Make sure you're following the channel. That way you get all the updates to that. And then also make sure that if you want to get all of my eBooks, offensively, defensively, that you're in the Patreon, 10 bucks to get you access to everything. We'll be updating those as needed based on this patch. Thanks for watching the video. And if you, again, if you want to check out the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.